Hi everyone, it's Tasman here from Tasman's Crochet Creations. So, I have been wanting to do this for about three weeks, um, but I needed to sort out my webcam and I finally found a software that can work okay with the webcam. So, for today's video, I thought of doing something fun. So, we are going to play a game. We are going to play Spin the Wheel. But, I will be taking all of the keychains that I have a tutorial for on my YouTube channel and we are going to make them extra tiny, extra small amigurumis, okay? So that, that is the game for today and I am going to do this um, maybe every week, I, I want to do this um, I want to do this series, okay, so this will be a series that I will do every week where I spin the wheel and um, and I make whatever it lands on and I make it really, really tiny, okay. So I do have my draw of, um, I do have my draw of all of my yarn that I'll be using. So I'll be using this yarn here, okay, so it is uh, crochet number 5 weight yarn and um, it recommends a 2 to 3 millimeter crochet hook and um, it's a plus minus a 50 gram ball and um, it is 100% acrylic. So I'll be using these, so I have pink, um, honeycomb, uh, purple, it comes up like a, sorry, <laughs> it comes up like a dark bluey color. I got cream, I got lamb drop, it's nice lamb green, and then I got two things of emerald, emerald green, then I have hazelnut, I think this one's called hazelnut, I can't remember all the names. Then I have black. Okay, I have black. Then I have white. I have white. Then I have lavender. I have red. I actually need to get more red yarn. And then I've got two shades of blue here. I can't remember the colours of these blues, but this was the blue that I that I first originally had. And then um, I didn't have enough for a project, so I bought another blue. But they they no longer um, they no longer sell this blue, so I had to. I was forced to get a different shade of blue. Um, so yeah, these are the two different blues that I have. So those are all of the colours that we'll be using. And if need be, um, if I don't have a colour that I need, um, let's say. I don't know, what do I have here? Um, I've got pink, I've got white, uh, I don't know. If there so happens to be a colour that I do not have, I will either substitute it for like another colour if I can, or if it's really something that is not going to go well with that, um, that keychain, then I'm going to have to go and buy um, a colour for that keychain, if that makes any sense. So like the elephant keychain, an elephant is grey. I don't have grey, but I have cream and I have like um, hazelnut. Uh, so yeah, those are the colours that I have. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's get this show on the road. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, as I've, as I've said before. So let's get started, shall we? So I will be using a um, so I'll either be using a seven and seven point a zero point seventy five millimeter crochet hook um, or a zero point sixty or a one point two five. So these are the three smallest crochet hooks that I have. These three. Um, so yeah, I will be using these, but we'll see how how small I can go with these. And um, yeah, we'll start with the 0.60 because that is the smallest one that I have. Um, 
and then we'll go up to the 0.75 and the 1.25 if I'm really really struggling. But I'm not going to give myself too much leeway here. Okay, I'm not going to give myself too much leeway. Okay, so now it is time to spin the wheel. Hey everyone, um, future me here. Um, so, I don't know what happened, but I forgot to record myself when I spun the wheel. How stupid was that? Um, but yeah, anyways, so I'm just gonna quickly shoot on here. Um, yeah, I literally only noticed while I started editing that there was no clip of me talking about the wheel. But anyway, so yeah, I did spin the wheel and I got the red hot keychain. Um, just like super exciting. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into it now. Let, let's start making this keychain. Eh? Okay guys, so I'm ready to start. Um, so I have my pattern here on my laptop as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm recording from my webcam, which is on top of my laptop. So I'll be working over here. And um, so yeah, um, let's get the show on the road. Um, so yeah, these are the crochet hooks that I was talking about earlier. So this is my 0.60 millimeter crochet hook. This is the smallest one that I'm gonna attempt to use. And then this is my 0.75 millimeter crochet hook. And then this one is my 1.25 millimeter crochet hook. And I'll be needing a pair of scissors as well as a tapestry needle. So look at how tiny this tapestry needle is. Hey, it's super, super tiny. <laughs> and then obviously I'll need a stitch marker. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my supplies to the side. And then I'm gonna keep my 0.16 millimeter crochet hook out. Okay, so let's do this. So I've got my red yarn here. Okay, I need to find the tail end. Um, wherever that tail end is. Okay, I've got the tail end here. Okay, so let's see. Let me zoom you guys in here. Okay, so to start off, um, I'll be doing the peaks of the heart. Okay, so let's give this a try. Okay, so I'll be doing six single crochets with the magic ring. So let me make a magic ring here. Okay. Okay, let's get my camera to focus. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I've made my magic ring now, and now I just need to do my six single crochets into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh gosh, this is so tiny. Okay, so now I've just made my first round, so now I need to close up my magic ring. Okay, I'm going to that tail tight. Oh, this is really, really tiny. Okay, I need to zoom in a bit more here. <laughs> okay, so now for the next round, I need to do an increase in each stitch around. Oh gosh, where is this? Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I need to increase and I'm going to stitch around. This is going to take quite some time. Okay, uh, oh gosh. This first stitch. Okay, 
there. Okay. I keep missing the stitch. <laughs> okay, I need to place my stitch marker in. I think I actually need a smaller stitch marker. Maybe I should get contrasting yarn. I think I should get some contrasting yarn, maybe. Let's do that. Let's get some contrasting yarn. Okay. Let's get maybe maybe some white yarn. Let's cut a little piece of this white yarn. I don't think we need so much. Okay, this will be my little stitch marker. Okay, that's my stitch marker. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, um, okay, so I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna pull out my stitches here. I'm gonna come closer to the camera here. Okay, then I'm just gonna hang my, um, my yarn over there. Ah. Okay, that's a bit fiddly. I haven't done this as a, as a stitch marker in a while, so please forgive me. Oh my gosh, this is tricky. Okay, now I need to find my first stitch. Okay, there it is. Okay, there's one. There. Okay, I need to make sure I'm getting into the stitch. Definitely gonna take some time that I can assure you. Oh gosh, I need to make two of these peaks. This is just the first one. So I'm now finished with round two. Um, okay, let's, let's count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Did I? I have 14 stitches. How the hell did I get 14 stitches? Oh, uh, that's why. I accidentally placed 7 stitches in the major ring instead of 6. Okay, there we go. That should be right now. Okay, let me get my yarn back here, my stitch marker. Okay, now let me see if I can do this. Okay, there we go. It was so much easier placing the stitch marker the second time around than the first time around. Just do 
an increase into each stitch around. This is definitely going to take a while. So now I have to finish my third row and I need to do another increase round um, before working the rest of the peak. Okay, so that's what we should the first row and then the increase. Actually quite tiring, I'm not gonna lie. This is very very tiring. <laughs> okay, um what did I just do now? Alright, oh, I need to do an increase into the next stitch, okay. I was like, I'm supposed to do an increase in the stitch that I just finished or in the next stitch. Okay, and then I'm finished with round three. This is going to be a really, really tiny heart. Do you reckon I should still make these into keychains once I'm finished? Like little tiny mini keychains. I think they'll be actually so cute. Okay, so now I'm finished with all the increased rounds. Um, okay, so now I need to start um, making up the rest of the peak. Um, so for round 5 and 6, so for the next 2 rounds, I need to do one single crochet in each stitch around with no increases. Okay, so for the next 2 rounds. I think these are actually going to be really, really cute, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Oh, and I just wanted to um, just apologize for like the bad setup. I've been trying to get my webcam going for quite some time now, probably about three weeks I've been trying to get it working with the software <clears throat> that it's supposed to come with. Um, but I've literally been having problems from from day one that I got it. It just didn't want to work with the um, It just didn't want to work With the software The Logitech software at all. So I was like going back and forth with them trying to sort out the issue 
and I didn't come out and then I ended up um, just using the webcam on another software um, so so yeah, I'm really sorry for the horrible setup um, next time I'm going to see if I can get get a um, a tripod or whatever like the one that I'm currently using um, that I can put on in the front of my desk instead of having the webcam um, on my laptop like this um, I just think it'll be a little bit better um, yeah um, I do have an old phone but I don't know what the quality would be like on there I mean, it's quite quite old and it's a Nokia phone so um, I'm not quite sure what, sure what that one there um, but yeah, I promise that from the next video it's going to be the it's going to be a lot better. Okay, so I'm just doing my last um, my last round here of the eh, what's it called of the peak of the heart. thought that I would have like a lot more problems with this um, but I guess I have crocheted with this yarn before and this hook size um, so I just finished now the one peak so now I am going to end off um, so I should have a total of six rounds so that's one one two three four yeah six rounds okay so now I'm gonna end off so I'm going to slip stitch into that next stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my scissors and slip that off. Okay, there we go. Check it how tiny that is. You look at that in comparison to like my nail. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so we can put that one side and then we need to repeat the process for the other one. Okay guys, so I have finally come back and have um, made the second peak of the heart. That took forever. I don't know why the second one had to be stubborn with me. I really don't know why. I really, 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 really do not know why it had to be like this. But anyway, so the second one is done now and now it's time for me to join the second one. Um, so the way in which I do that, let me see, so I need a single crochet together the first, single crochet two together the first stitch on the current piece and on the finished piece. The first stitch and the current stitch. A single crochet two together the first stitch on the current piece and on the finished stitch. Peak. Okay, so I'm gonna do a chain one and then do a single crochet two together. So now I'm going to oopsie. Okay, um, okay, there we go. Okay, okay. So now I've joined the two peaks together um, and now I need to place stitch marker. So I think from now I'm just going to use this stitch marker. Okay, there we go. Okay, so place stitch marker, place one single crochet all the way around the peak. Okay, now I need to do this. Ah. 
Ah. Oh my gosh, I hate it when that happens. It is so irritating. as though the first peak that I did a lot more bigger than the second one just a little bit okay so I need some crochet around Okay, and then once I'm going to crochet it around back to stitch marker. stitch marker and place one single crochet around one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in each one single crochet around both peaks. Ah no I'm losing my stitch. I'm losing my stitch. in each stitch around. So I'm just going to continue uh, crocheting around the heart now, just going along with the pattern. And right now I am doing um, just one single crochet around, um, no increases and no decreases. And then soon, no, we are going to start decreasing to start closing up the heart to start creating the shape of the heart. Yeah, it's getting somewhat better now. Okay, so now I'm going to start decreasing now um, 
so I need to single crochet into the first 12 stitches. So there's one, and then place the stitch mark back. Let's see. Okay, so that's one, two, three. single crochet in the next 21 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, And then another decrease. Okay, and then one single crochet in the remaining 10 stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And I have one more, so I'm just going to do a decrease here just so that I can get my stitch count to the right stitch count. Ten. Okay, now I officially start shaping the heart. So that's what it looks like so far. This thing's actually going to be really, really cute, and I'm going to do the tassels and everything like my, like my, my normal um, hard keychains that I've done. There. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so I need to place one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and then a decrease and repeat around. Five, 
save that and then another decrease. Look at that, it literally just covers my fingers like little like gloves or something. I don't know, isn't that just funny? Like look at that. <laughs> it looks so funny. Mm. That just looks funny. Okay, let's carry on.
Okay guys, so now we are officially ready to stuff the the um, heart now. Um, you, know, you can kind of see how small this thing is in comparison to my fingers or my hand. It is quite tiny. Um, on the pattern it says here that after round 16, which is where I have two two single crochets and then a decrease um, so that round there we have um, two single crochets before a decrease um, so after that round there it says on my pattern that I need to stuff them but I honestly don't think that I can um, <laughs> that I can stuff it at that point so I'm gonna stuff it now um, so yeah this is like what it's looking like so I'm just gonna grab um, some stuffing here and some and a blunt pair of scissors okay and then I'm just gonna stuff the heart gonna get this thing. This thing is quite small and there's not much that I think I can stop in here. Okay, so I think that's good enough in terms of the stuffing. Okay, now we can see how much more difficult it is to work with this thing stuffed or unstuffed, I don't know. Let's see, um, so, okay, I have three, four more rounds until I'm finished with this. Oh, I still need to do the tassel, but I have four more rounds until I'm finished with the heart, that is. To pick up the stuffing but it's like it's so hard not to pick up the stuffing especially because I can't like stick my finger in there to like kind of like block the block the stuffing or to kind of like push it one side if that makes any sense yeah we'll still have another decrease round after this thankfully it'll be the last round So now I'm onto the, 
the last row now. Okay, so now I am onto the last row or the last round. Um, I think I don't know if I should. I think I should maybe stuff this a bit more. Yeah, I can still get some stuffing in here. some more. Oh my gosh, this is like so tiny and this thing is actually, for how small it is, this thing is actually taking up quite a bit of stuffing, I'm actually not gonna lie. I didn't think it was gonna take up this much stuffing, that I can tell you. Get in there. I think that is good enough. I don't know. What do you think? I think that's okay. I actually think this one needs to get a little bit more stuffing up this way. But this thing is literally so, so, so tiny. I'm not gonna lie. This thing is so tiny. Okay guys, so um, <clears throat> so I'm back after stuffing my heart, um, my phone actually ran out of space so I had to um, I had to transfer the files onto my, my laptop, um, I ran out of space. Um, so yeah, anyway, so now we're going to do the last decrease round um, of, the, uh, of the heart. Um, and then we can add the tassel. So I'm super excited guys. We're like almost finished. This has been a really, 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 really long, um, long afternoon of making this. It has been quite time consuming. Um, I think I probably spent about maybe like two hours doing this. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Anyway, so we are finished um, making the heart now. So I'm just going to just take my scissors and just snip that off. And then I am just going to pull that up and out. And then I'm just going to grab my needle here. And now I'm ready to weave in my tail end. I'll just sew the whole closed here at the bottom. is now the actual heart complete and now it's time to add the tassel so I actually thought of um, using this um, <clears throat> this gauge ruler I think it would be like the perfect the perfect length um, to do the uh, what would you call it <sighs> to do the the tassels at this heart here I think that'll be a good um, a good size I really do okay so that's what I'm gonna do now so I'm just gonna grab some yarn here and I'm just going to just uh, take my yarn and my gauge ruler that I have here that I will be using and I am just going to just wrap this a few times and maybe 10 times would be good so that's one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and I actually forgot to cut. Okay, just before I take that 
that off. I actually forgot to cut two strands of yarn to tie the tassel on. Okay, and then I am going to, uh, oh, sorry, I'm like all over the place. Um, okay, so then I am just gonna snip this here, get my scissors underneath here, and just kind of, ah, uh, this is a bit tricky to do. There we go. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of the threads that I've already cut and then just lay the tassel on top. And then I'm just going to take this yarn and just tie a knot here. brush out these tassels I think to just kind of get them a bit more air yeah, because this just doesn't oh gosh because this does not look like a tassel at all like what the hell is that so I think I'm gonna comb out the tassels or brush them out um okay so then after that um we're gonna grab our other one maybe we won't have to once we tie this piece together I don't know let's see so I'm going to um, place it oh, out of frame, sorry there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to place it like that and then I'm just going to tie the strand together here. up the top. Okay, so I think it's fine. We don't actually have to brush out the tassels. And then I'm just going to um, cut the tails so that they're like all kind of even and like to the same heart. Like that. Isn't that just cute? Look, look at that. Oh, look at that tassel. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is just too cute, I'll tell you. Careful, that one's sticking out. That does not look. <laughs> that does not look right. I'm not gonna lie. That does not look right. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. We're gonna pull this through here. And maybe this one too. Pull this through the side. This is very very fiddly. Come on, you little guy, you can do it. There we go. Okay, that kind of worked. Okay, there we go. I know my top knot is coming undone. Okay, so now what we need to do now is we need to now um, sew this top of the tassel on. 
So I am first going to sew both of these um, to the heart. Hey guys, so that is it. It is officially completed. I cannot believe it. Look at how cute this thing has come out. Oh my gosh. Like, look at that. Isn't it just so cute? I actually need to zoom out for you guys. This is zoomed out all the way. Look how small that is, guys. Isn't that just so adorable? Oh my gosh. I'm actually looking forward to, to all of the, the other, um, the other ones. The other ones that we do here on this channel, or on this series, I should say. Oh my gosh, this is super cute. And this is perfect for Valentine's Day. This is like, this is like super, super cute. This one, I'm not gonna lie. Isn't that just cute? I actually wonder what it will look like with a keychain on there. I think I'm actually gonna put a keychain on. So let's do this. This is like so super tiny. Okay, but normally, normally I put the keychain like around in the middle there, but I don't know if I should or if I should put it. Uh, I don't know if I should put it like in the middle there or. Like maybe like in the corner there. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Um, yeah, I'll only put it here in, in the middle here. So I think we we'll just do that just for the sake of this. Just to see what it's going to look like. I and mean, I feel like this thing is just bending one way. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Now for the actual keychain. Okay. Even this jump ring is like so massive with this thing. Wow. Look at how tiny that is. Oh my god. I actually need to get a ruler. Where's my trusty tape measure? Here it is. Okay, so let's see how big this thing is. So I have my trusty tape measure here. Including the tassel, it is approximately six centimeters. Six centimeters long by about four, four and a half, no, not quite four and a half. Yeah, actually it's about four and a half centimeters wide. The actual heart itself is about three centimeters, so I was right about saying it was three centimeters earlier. That is so cool. The tassel itself is only like um, three and a half centimeters. That is so cool. Isn't that just so cute? Like, look at how tiny that is. It's actually six and a half centimeters. No, it's about six. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Isn't that just adorable? Okay guys, so I thought of just recording the outro here on my camera instead of the webcam because that's a... Yeah. Thing. Um, but look at how adorable this is guys, this is literally so cute, this is the cutest little thing that I appreciate. How adorable is this? Look at how tiny that is! Isn't it just so cute? Like look at that! Oh my gosh, this is just too adorable. 
anyway guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this series or this first episode of the series the spinning wheel miniature version um i actually don't quite know yet what to name this obviously by the time you're watching this video i would have already named kind of like the series i know it's like the spinning wheel the miniature spinning wheel i guess i guess it could be like the <clears throat> i guess it could be like the the miniature keychain spinning wheel i don't know the mini amigurumi spinning wheel i don't know but yeah look, look at how cute this is oh my gosh this is like so cute oh my gosh i am obsessed with how tiny freaking cute this is i really really am look at that I think I'll charge, if I had to sell the, this, I, have, I think I'll charge like 30 rand. It has to be cheaper than like my, my normal Amigurumi D, or like my normal one, my normal keychains. I literally can't, I literally can't get over how cute this is. I literally cannot. But anyway guys, we need to end this video. Easy okay that is it guys um i really really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this first episode of the spinning wheel mini amigurumi keychains um i really really hope you enjoyed it um because i i don't know about you but i am already obsessed with how freaking cute and small this is oh i i am i'm i'm obsessed i'm obsessed now I literally can't wait to do the next video. Now I can't wait to crochet the next one. Honestly guys, look at how cute this is. Ah! I am so excited. Look at how cute it is. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, okay. We need to end this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, but I, I am so excited for for next week's video now i really really am um but yeah how cool is this i absolutely love it um but yeah that is it for this this series well this episode i should say this episode of the series um i hope you guys really enjoyed watching me crochet this little miniature version and enjoyed playing along with the game um so yeah that is it guys um thank you so much for watching um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also share out my channel. Those are three things that you can do to help me out. And also it will benefit you in the long run because hey, free tutorials on the things that you love to do. So why not, hey? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also share. Um, I can't stop looking at this, guys. <laughs> I cannot stop looking at it. Look at how cute it is. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna put this down. Okay, okay, okay. That is it, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of the Spinning Wheel Mini Amigurumi Keychain Series. Thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting. Bye, guys. Bye.